So you're trying to add a Calendly calendar to your website, but you're not yet sure how to do it. Well, in this video, I'm going to share with you exactly how you can get that done. My name is Rakeem Madison. Let's get into the content. All right. So I'm going to show you four different ways for you to add this to your website, and then you could pick and choose whichever one you prefer. All right. So let's go ahead and get started. So what you want to do is you want to go to the event that you set up. So I'm assuming if you're watching this video and you're just trying to add it to your website, you've already set up your event. Now, with that being said, what we want to do is we want to go ahead and click on share once that opens up you see we got a couple different options we got to share a link add times to email and add to website so we want to click on add to website and then i'm gonna walk you through uh, how to set all of these up and I'm gonna show you what they look like That's what I was talking about when I was referring to like the preference and then I'm gonna show you a bonus way If you stick with me throughout the rest of the video. All right. All right So first we're gonna click on inline embed then we're gonna scroll down, hit continue. And then from here, if I click into this box where it has the embed code, I then wanna go ahead and copy that. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit copy. And then from here, what I need to do is I need to put this inside of my web page builder, right? So whether that's you using WordPress or you using like some page builder like I use. So I'll show you the one I use real quick. So I use something called system.io and I'll leave a link down below in the description. It'll be the first link um, if you actually wanna be able to use this exact same tool all right now how would I actually set this up so what I want to do is I want to come right here to funnels first and then I want to click right here to where it says create now from here I want to go ahead and name my funnel but before that we want to choose what we want to do and for sake of this video I'm just going you know start from scratch instead of going throughout all of these different processes I'm gonna go ahead and click on custom now what I need to do is I'm gonna name it right so I'm gonna go ahead and name it tester and then from there, I'm going to leave my funnel domain as what it is. And then down here, I'm going to just go ahead and hit create. All right. So boom, what it did is it just created me something from scratch. So from here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and hit create step. And then I'm going to name this tester right? We'll just roll with that. And then I'm going to go to type and then I'm going to go to thank you page. And then from here, I'm going to go ahead and hit save. All right. So boom, it's going to give me all these different templates that I can use. Now I'm going to go with one of these templates that's somewhat simple um, that I can kind of remove real quick. And then we are just going to pretty much go from there. Um, let's actually roll with this one right here. Okay. So this right here is a little template. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on edit page. All right. Now from here, I'm just going to go ahead and remove all of this, right? So I'm going to remove this, go ahead and get rid of this. Go ahead and get rid of this. Now my page is pretty much fresh, right? Now from here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go right over here because this is literally drag and drop, right? They make it very, very simple. I'm gonna drag this HTML code right here. Boom. So now what I need to do is I need to make where, where it starts to turn orange. I wanna go ahead and click on this cog. And then once I click on the cog, it's going to open up these settings over here. Now what I need to do is I need to click right here where it says edit code. Once I do that, I'm going to go ahead and delete everything in this code box. Come right back over here. Take that same code that we copied. Let me just go ahead and copy it again. And then I'm going to paste that code in here and then I'm going to hit save. Now, when I hit save, I want to also go ahead and hit save changes right here. And then we're going to preview the page to show you what it looks like. OK, so this right here is the inline embed code, right? So if you want it to be on your page, maybe you got something else, like maybe you got like a picture of yourself or you got some additional information on the page, like book the call. Um, you could actually just set it up and it'll show up exactly how you see right here. Now, I'm going to show you the next one, right? Because the next one, if we go right here and we go to change, now, instead of an inline embed, let's say we want a pop up, like a little button to show up in the corner. So I'm going to go ahead and click on pop up widget. Then I'm going to hit continue. And we're pretty much going to do the exact same thing. The only difference with this is they allow you to adjust the button to whatever you want it to say. Like, let's say I don't want it to say schedule time with me. Let's say I just want to say book your call today, right? Or something like that. And then I can adjust the color over here, right? So let's say I want that button to be red because, you know, I really want it to kind of pop out in the bottom corner. And I could do the text color. We'll just leave it as white. And then again, these settings for, you know, the booking page. So if I click this, I can hide all of those different things. And once again, I can't adjust the color, color um, unless I got the upgraded plan. And then right here, all we're going to do is we're going to click in here. I'm going to go ahead and hit copy. Come right back over to the editor. Click into the box, go ahead and click on this cog, and then we're gonna go right back to where it say edit code. 
I'm gonna go ahead and uh, hit Command A. You can hit Control A if you're on PC. And then I'm gonna go ahead and hit Control V to paste it in there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and hit Save. I don't know why I said Control, Control V, I meant Command V. And then I'm gonna go ahead and hit uh, Save Changes. And then we're gonna close this page real quick and then we're gonna open up a new preview page to show you what it looked like. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and move me out of the way real quick. The button should be right where I'm at. So you see how that button is showing up and it doesn't matter like if they're scrolling the page, that's still gonna actually show up right there. And if I click on that, watch what happens. Boom, that exact same page that, you know, the, the page that we saw last time is the exact same thing they can see right here on the page. So that's that one. So now I'm gonna go ahead and show you the next one and I'm gonna go ahead and move me back uh, to this corner over here. Okay, so now let's go up and we're gonna click on change. Now we're gonna go to the pop-up text, all right? And you're gonna see this one is fairly simple. We're not gonna go through all of this again um, because all this is is you can change it out as far as like your link text and all of that stuff. So whatever you want it to say, that's what you put in this box, all right? So I'm gonna leave it how it is. I'm gonna click in this box like this again, and then I'm gonna go right back into that code. Let's go ahead and make it turn orange. Click on that cog and then hit edit code. Now I'm gonna go ahead and hit command A again. It should copy everything. All right, there it is. And then I'm gonna go ahead and hit command V. Go ahead and hit save. Go ahead and hit save changes. And then I'm gonna go ahead and hit preview the page. Now, as you can see, you see how it got scheduled time with me? It's gonna be based off everything that you put in this box. So if I were to put book a call, that's exactly what you would see on the on the page, right? And this can apply across any page builder, WordPress, whatever it is, right? Wix, Squarespace, all those different ones. Um, so let me show you the the bonus way, right? And this is typically like how most people do it, um, especially if you're running some type of um, funnel for like a coaching business or whatever it is that you're doing. Uh, what you would probably want to do is you would probably have like a video on this page. So let me let me do a little something different on this page. So let's say I want a video on my page that explains how I'm gonna help people X, Y, Z, and so on and so on. So from this part, I wouldn't necessarily want this on the page, even though that's something that I can do. I might want something different. So I'll click in the box, and then what I wanna do, let me go ahead and go to move me out the way real quick. And then right here, I'm gonna go ahead and click on cog, and then I'm gonna go to the code. Now what I wanna do in here is I just wanna completely delete the code, right? So I'm gonna hit save, and then I'm down here, I'm gonna just go ahead and remove this with the trash can. All right, so what I wanna do is I wanna go ahead and add a button, right? So I'm gonna drop a button right up under this. And then from here, I can adjust what the button says and so on and so on, right? And, and the way that I do that is when I click in the button, we wanna do the same orange, click on this cog, and then it should be something over here that says button text. So right here, it says button text. So I can say, uh, get started now or book your call now, however you wanna do it, right? So notice it changed down there. And then I can also adjust the color. The little color should be over here somewhere. Okay, so right here, we got an icon selector and then we got the background color and the text color. So on this one, I might say, okay, well, I don't want that blue. What I want is, let's say I want the color, the, the button to be green or I want it to be red or whatever it is. I can adjust it over there. And then from here, what I would wanna do is I will scroll right back up and then right here where it says action when button click, I wanna go ahead and click on um, open URL. And then right here you can see it says type in a URL. So what I would do from there is I will go ahead and completely get out of this and then I will go back to the button, click on share, and then I will go ahead and copy this link right here. So let me move me out of the way so you can see it. All right, so this, this link right here, I just wanna go ahead and copy it. And then over here, I wanna go ahead and paste that link in there. All right, so you can see we got that link in there now, and then I'm gonna go ahead and hit save changes. I'm gonna go ahead and preview the page, and I'm gonna show you exactly what happens. Let's say, for instance, somebody's watching this video. Boom, they get value, they're like, man, I really wanna hire this guy or this girl. And then what we do is they come down here and they see this button that says book a call now. They click on it. When they click on it, guess what? It takes them to that exact same page. So hopefully you got some value from this video. And if you did, definitely go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Also drop me a comment down below, letting me know any additional questions that you have. And with that being said, I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Peace.